Hi, I'm Taryn Grom, editor of Pharma Voice Magazine, on the floor of the 2010 DIA Annual Meeting. And I'm here with Glenn DeVries from Metadata. Glenn, welcome to the Pharma Voice Editor's Take video series. Please discuss how SaaS-based clinical technology solutions can enhance the efficiency of clinical development processes. I think uh, we are seeing a, a really interesting turning point in the industry in regards to SaaS software as a service um, based technologies. So for the last couple decades, almost all clinical systems were bespoke, meaning they were built purpose-built for one specific sponsor or one specific trial in some cases. About a decade ago, we started to see systems uh, like some from Medidata, like some from other EDC vendors, building on some of the uh, maybe non-bespoke bespoke, but still uh, baseline customizable solutions. People would implement a CDMS system and then put software around it or have programmers work to put their clinical trial specific requirements into it. Again, the early days of EDC, you saw a lot of people who required programming to implement a study. And, and I think if you look back 10 years ago, even five years ago, and even in some cases today, there were places where certain vendors would distinguish themselves and, well, I can do this with point and click instead of having to put a programmer. Um, now, I think you're starting to see systems where people are saying, I don't need to, to do anything bespoke around the system. I don't need to do anything custom. I'm looking for a system that comes out of the box and I will adjust my business processes to take advantage of the way the system works. Um, so you've got things like, if it's fair to mention, Medidata Balance. So we just uh, released a product for uh, dynamic uh, randomization and drug logistics. Typically something that was regarded as very complicated. You might have months of lead time, lots of requirements to spec out. You go online, you point and click, you set it up. And again, the more aggressive sponsors who are trying to customize, or not customize, but uh, change their processes to take advantage of better insight into what they're doing, shorter cycle times to deploy a trial, uh, more predictability in their operations are saying, great, I, I, I'm embracing this idea of you coming to me with a pre-built system instead of having the kind of standoff at, off attitude that we might have seen a couple decades ago of, well, if it's not built just for me, it's not what I want. Now, let's talk about, secondly, how SaaS solutions can optimize sponsors' research and development and Let's look outside the world of clinical research for a second. Um, I think a great software as a service example is always Salesforce.com. Right? They they had the, the famous advertising campaign with the no smoking sign over the word software, like right? no software. You should just go online and consume what you need to manage your customers and your sales contacts. There is no better expression of short time to value than true software as a service. I go online, I sign up, and I turn it on. Right? So you can now, if you go out and look at the marketplace, find things, um, maybe they don't fit exactly into your definition of EDC, CDMS, CTMS, IVRS, but systems that in interesting ways are blending the lines between those. And here's a solution that you can run your trial operations on and go online and turn it on. And that's the ultimate short time to value. And the fact that uh, solutions, the, some of these solutions don't require custom programming things just means you're gonna have a, not just short time to value, but overall lower total cost of ownership. What, what could be a better equation in terms of optimizing business process than, than those two values? Excellent insights, and I wanna thank you very much for participating in this Editor's Take video. Thanks, it is always a pleasure.